It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Paradise for auto racing fans. This Sunday, Memorial Day weekend, we start out with Formula One on the streets of Monte Carlo for the Monaco GP. Then you get the Indy 500 in Indianapolis, the 97th running great race in the history of motorsports, one of the greatest ever of all time, if not Monaco or Le Mans or whatever. Indy 500, classic, you gotta watch it. And then you've got the longest race in the NASCAR season in the Coca-Cola 600. Welcome to the Lie Makers on Sporting News. We're gonna talk a little bit about the Coca-Cola 600 and then give our picks for the Indy 500. Now, what's happened in Las Vegas over the years is the same thing that's happened in any car racing. Not a lot of people care about the season of the IRL or IndyCar series or whatever they call it now. It's not on TV a lot, on major channels. The only thing that they really cling to is this one race a year. So the betting just hasn't been as popular over the last 10 years. It's steadily declined. You don't see a lot of props on them. However, at the same time, NASCAR has grown uh, immensely over popularity over the Indy 500 and uh, the Indy cars. And so that's why you see all the props, you see every sports book doing all kinds of odds on, on each of the races. This week, Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kenseth, and Kyle Busch are six to one favorites to win the Coca-Cola 600. Jimmy Johnson's a six time winner at Charlotte, but he hasn't won there since 2009. In fact, he hasn't finished better than 10th since 2007. And that's a surprise because he dominated at the start of his career at Charlotte. Uh, Matt Kenseth, he won his first career race ever at Charlotte and he also won there two years ago in the fall race. He's been a driver that's fared very well, especially on the mile and a half tracks this season. Kyle Busch has never won at Charlotte, but he's finished in the top five and eight of the last 11 starts that he's had there, including the last three. He's a guy that I think will fare very well this week. And we kind of saw a changeover in the all-star race last week. Uh, Jimmy Johnson became a Chevy that actually won on a mile and a half track, but because of the format, because it wasn't uh, running the distance that uh, you're going to see this Sunday. You're still going to have to favor the Toyotas like we saw on all the other mile and a half tracks. Uh, one outsider that may be able to crack that is Casey Kane. He won last year's race. He's got four wins overall at Charlotte. He's finished second to Matt Kenseth uh, in two mile and a half tracks this year at Las Vegas and Kansas. He's going to be there. And an outsider, again, for the Ford camp, maybe Greg Biffle. He finished fourth last year in both Charlotte races. And he's also bringing a chassis that had his only top five finish of the season at Texas. Take a look at him. And maybe uh, another long shot up there. Not so much a long shot, but another Toyota would be Denny Hamlin. You're gonna get him about 11, 12 to one odds. He finished second in both Charlotte races and he's obviously got a great car with the equipment and being teammates of Matt Kenseth and Kyle Busch. For the Indy 500, we're gonna look at Marco Andretti. He was 15 to one last week, but after some good practice sessions, his odds have been dropped down to one of the co-favorites at seven to one. Dario Franchi trying to be a four-time Indy 500 winner and join A.J. Foyt and Al Unser Jr. We'll see if he can get that then. Oh yeah, Rick Mears also won four times. That'll be a kind of historic thing, although Ashley Judd won't be there uh, celebrating with them. Uh, Ryan Hunter Ray at 10 to one, and James Hinchcliffe at eight to one. Our drivers we like, and a nice long shot out there who had some decent practice sessions here and there and has run well at Indy over his career is Townsend Bell. 100 to one, not saying it could happen, but if you got an extra five or 10 bucks out there and want to take a crack and maybe have a great Memorial Day weekend, that might be your, your plan to hit 100 to one. Again, thanks for watching and happy Memorial Day weekend to everybody. It's important to remember all of everybody in our country that has wore uniforms and the people that have passed away because of defending our country. Say a little prayer and uh, thank you to them over the weekend.